Alright, this is going to be a thankful one, so let's get right into it. March 6, 2017. The first episode of the Modern Maker podcast was released. The same day, I also became a patron of Chris Saloni from Four Eyes Furniture. About a year earlier, I found Chris's videos on YouTube and instantly was inspired and hooked on his video style as well as his furniture design. Jumping back to 2017, Chris and I started emailing and chatting about music, about YouTube, and about CNC. So it was only fitting that I built him this Bluetooth speaker based on the Bad Larry as a thank you for what he's done to encourage me in starting my own channel. Alright, to get you up to speed, all I've done so far is cut out the face plates for the speaker box. The front of the box will have two 4 inch speakers and the rear of the box is actually going to have two passive resonators just to help with that low end sound. I kept my wood selection pretty simple, I used maple for the faces and I used walnut for the legs as well as the body of the speaker. Once I had everything milled and marked, I was ready to start putting my dados in which would receive the face plates for the front and the back of the speaker box. I'll put a link for Chris's video where he actually goes over how to make these angled cuts for a trapezoid box. Generally speaking, once you've found your angle, you're setting your blade once and then cutting your pieces vertically and horizontally to make your miters. A quick thanks for visiting my channel. If you've been here before, I hope you like to smash that like button. Otherwise, if it's your first time here, hope you'd consider subscribing. Alright, enough of that. Once I had my first set of miters cut, I came back and I just marked out where my second miter would have to be. That way when I made my vertical cuts, I had everything lined up correctly with the table of the saw. After my dry fit, I went back and I added a slight chamfer to the inside of all the face plates to receive the speakers. Huge shout out to Rockler. I met one of their team back at Workbench Con this year and I explained what I was trying to do with this project. And without hesitation, they sent me a bunch of tools to help out with this build. So thanks Rockler. Two disclaimers. The first one is you don't need a CNC to be able to make these face plates. And I only know that because I kind of screwed up and had to make a second one, which I guess is my second disclaimer. So if you are going to become a YouTuber, my best piece of advice is you need to learn how to sand like a YouTuber. So I took the time to practice this as I was working on the face plates. So I'm sure most of you have seen this before, but if you use a straight edge and scribe a line corner to corner, you'll be able to find the middle of your piece. I did that and then I took this cheap marking tool that I have and used that to just make some punches on where I had to drill holes for my power as well as the off on switch for the back of the box. So I don't know how to solder or find the focus button on my camera, but I do have another video that I'll post in the next couple days of the actual wiring and the innards of this wireless Bluetooth speaker box. On the inside base of the box, I did add these brass standoffs for the Bluetooth circuit board. And the reason I did this is because I read it somewhere that it was a good idea. So. I did design this to be a wireless speaker box and the battery that I found online did have a port for charging. So I cut a small hole in the top of the box to be able to add a charging port for your phone or whatever other USB charging device that you'd want to plug in. I did use the masking tape trick to limit as much squeeze out as I could, but Rockler sent me these amazing band clamps to be able to aid with the glue up of the box. And by the way, I put affiliate links in the description for most of the Rockler products that I use in this build. With the glue drying, I started the process of milling up parts for the leg assembly of the box. Each piece actually yields two legs, and I started by cutting the tops and the bottoms of the pieces at 15 degrees, and then making my marks so I could lay out the tapered line on each of the leg sets. Ideally, I'd make these cuts on my table saw with a proper tapering jig, but because of the size, 
it was way easier and safer to cut these on the bandsaw and then come back to my sanding station and finish everything up to the line. To mimic the look of the legs of the Bad Larry, I took the time to make half lap joints for the legs and the stretcher assemblies, which cross in an X pattern on the underside of the box. And the way I found this odd angle was to use my two pieces, just like Chris did in his video about the Bad Larry, to mark out what I needed to notch out and the angle I need to notch it out at. 24.7. With all my half laps cut, I went back and started gluing everything together. And these bandy clamps were a great way to hold this odd shape of the leg in one piece without having to use any mechanical fasteners. And with the legs drying, I finished my final sanding of the actual box. So what inspires you? Or who inspires you? Let me know in the comments below. I love to chat about the people, the places, the things that drive you to follow what your passion is. This is probably my 10th attempt at trying to dramatically set up this miniature spray booth, which was great. Uh, it was a fairly windy day, so I was able to just set this up and spray with this HVLP sprayer that Rockler sent me. I love the setup and how easy this was, and the cleanup was super easy. I just had to run some water through it just to clean out all the pieces. Again, I really want to say thanks to Chris just for the encouragement, uh, but as well all the other YouTubers that are out there who are in our community as makers and are on podcasts or are producing content for Instagram or for YouTube. I just really appreciate the community that is around what we have as makers. And if you've been sitting on the fence thinking, you know, you just gotta do this to get to that next point to make your first video, just stop. The best thing to do is just to start. And you know what? Your first video won't be your best, but I hope it's not your last. Shout out again to Rockler for supporting my channel and just for helping out uh, with some awesome new tools to add to my arsenal. If you want to see more behind the scenes, feel free to follow me on Instagram. I have a link for that below. But until next time, thanks for watching.